All right, I'm going to show you. I mean, this is, in my opinion, this is the prettiest time of year in Texas. Now, there may be people that disagree with me, but uh, it is green as gourd. I'm going to turn this around and show you all what I'm talking about. I mean, we got all of the trees, the leaves are coming out, and the grass is all green, and the weather is perfect, and this is a real good time to be a scared of snakes because we've got them out here and uh, today's not a good day to run into a snake because it's actually kind of cool but tomorrow tomorrow could be a really good snake day as far as snakes go we got uh, basically two kinds we got to watch out for out here we got coral snakes and we've got copperheads so I said, don't y'all have rattlesnakes if we do we haven't seen one in 20 years or do we i don't know all right, so let me kind of show you what I've been shooting. I'm going to go next week, and I'm going to be, uh, I'm taking Maddie, and we're going to go hog hunting really all week long. And so we're taking all these guns with us. This is a, this is called the Dragon Claw. I actually shot uh, a Cape Buffalo with this. Maddie shot her first black bear with it, and it shoots an arrow at 500 feet a second. Anyway, we shot it one time, and it's dead on. Isn't it, Ryan? Yes, sir. It's dead on. Okay. Next off, we've got little break barrel diana ar8 uh air rifle and you know let's talk about youtube for a second i just can't keep from bringing it up we did a video a year ago on rabbit hunting using the ar8 and all of a sudden bingo when all this crap started going on with uh with uh, you know the modern sporting rifles or people you know shooting people stupid stuff because it said ar in the title this is ar8 we got kicked off of youtube for that video okay we said it's been on for a year it's pellet rifle anyway now we're gonna step up i'm gonna show you this this is the big boy right here okay we're pulling out the big gun right here smith and wesson 500 topped off with a 4 by 32 scope from sightmark and let me tell you something that revolver right there is some kind of powerful and we're gonna shoot it right now all right as far as ammo goes big grains for a big gun 350 grain ammo and what i'm gonna do the the this gun i mean you take a look at that slug right there it's that right there's a big old bullet what i'm gonna do is uh typically when i go hunt with this gun i'm gonna shoot 50 yards and less and i'm pretty doggone good with it and so what we're gonna wind up doing we're gonna get my ears on I'm going to step up here to these shooting sticks. And I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> nice. All right, I think if I get this close to a pig, he's in trouble. I love seeing that spray out there. What do you think of that? 500 Smith and Wesson and we're all good now. I think that uh, We're gonna head up to the house and see what Maddie's got cooking Hi, you need to go I told you she's cooking supper. They're filming it. So I'm getting run out. So hopefully she'll hurry up because I'm hungry But it sure smells good. All right, so where would you think I'd be eating in Texas? You know, the fast food place. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queens are all over the place. A friend of mine from Georgia wound up, he told me, he says, man, you can even buy shelled deer corn at Dairy Queen, that's true. Anyway, I've stopped here getting lunch right there. Taco salad, and no, it's not gonna fill me up, so I'm gonna go up there and get something healthy like a, like a hamburger maybe. But anyway, on our way to do a hog hunt right now. And the weather, I don't know where you live, but the weather here has been so screwy this year. It's about 80 degrees outside, and they're talking about we got a cold front coming, going to be in the 40s before the weekend's out. So uh, anyway, I don't know how that's going to do for hogs. We're going to find out. All right, we are seated in a blind. That's Johnny right there. And he got the camera set up. Got the my dragon claw. That's my air gun. That's when I shot the Cape Buffalo with in Africa. 
Now we are down here in South Texas, all gone. Let me show you what it looks like out here. You can all see that. It is thick garage. We're about, we're about ah, 30 yards away from the feeder. And the wind is just all over the place. We've got a cold front coming in there. It's talking about on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And I don't know what the pigs are going to do. Uh, we got the reconnex camera show that the pigs are coming in about right now. And so far, the pigs aren't here. If they show up, I'm going to show you what a dead one looks like. All right, so a big cold front just blew in uh, this morning. And I mean, it got cold, at least cold down here in Texas. Uh, I wound up uh, down here outside of George West. And uh, the whole purpose was to come down here and try to kill some pigs. And this morning, last night we didn't do very good at all. But uh, look at that yucca plant. Oh, that was me moving. <laughs> Making it look like the yucca plant was blowing. But it's blowing bad. I want to show you what got in the way of my arrow this morning. Can you see that? I guess you can see that. It's kind of hard for me to see. But anyway, that got, I'm down here uh, hunting with an air rifle in uh, my dragon claw air rifle and this afternoon what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to go out and uh and, and read this wind the wind is just terrible and they're talking about it getting uh uh calming down tonight but uh, right now i'm probably going to be looking for a blind that looks back towards the north and i'm going to probably grab a 500 smith and west and see if i can pound a pig with that all right howdy everybody all right sitting in the stand and this is the the uh, gun of choice tonight. It's a uh, Smith & Wesson 50 caliber 500. And uh, the second choice is right here. I'll show you. It's an air gun with a Pulsar trail rifle scope on it. And the plan is, Johnny's over here. He's getting ready to shoot video. And it's just giving us all kinds of fit. It's uh, it been blowing all day long. Uh, this morning we wound up, we shot a really nice hog. And uh, and while we're out here doing this, the guys are in the office and they are editing on our show. And it's important to let you know that if you want to see our shows, what you need to do is you need to go to our website, highroadhunting.com, and watch all of our shows. Now we're going to have our vlog, of course, on YouTube where it's public as long as they'll continue to allow us to have it on YouTube but at some point they're gonna they're gonna pull the plug and for that reason what we're trying to do is get you if you like what you're seeing on our show go over to our website it's absolutely free and the videos are playing 24 7 just go over there and do it but right now what we're gonna do we're gonna get quiet and uh, hope a hog comes in and winds up taking one right there a 350 grain projectile with that Smith & Wesson. If he doesn't, that's okay because we're going to stay put and hopefully one will come in after dark and we'll skewer him with an arrow out of that air gun. So Let's get going. Giddy up. And yes, I love my job. Ready? Yep. I'm ready. Alright, we are leaving. We wound up, uh, went out this morning. We tried to hunt. Well, we didn't hunt. We just didn't do any good. And now what we're doing, we're heading over to the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, my place, and we're picking up uh, my side-by-side -side, and then we're heading north of Houston to a place that I've been hog hunting for many years. It's a place called Hog Wild Adventures. Uh, Maddie's going to meet us over there, actually, and she is going to uh, get with Johnny and they are going to kill hogs and hopefully I'm going to kill some hogs and we got to be over there by 4 30 this afternoon and it is uh, about 11 o'clock now so we got to start uh, getting on down the road hopefully Mr. DPS doesn't want to slow us down any. Ground zero for the best hog hunting in the world but why? This is a feedlot, folks. It's literally, it's a feedlot. It's called Hog Wild Adventure. Besides having lots of hungry cattle out here, they have lots of hungry pigs. You know what we're doing right now? We just dropped Maddie off, and now I'm following Billy. That's Billy right there on the tractor, and I'm heading to get my feed 
right now. So I think things look pretty good. As a matter of fact, my conditions are really, really good. I'm pretty excited. Life is good. And if you are not watching our television shows on the Pursuit Channel, the only way you're going to get to watch them is at highroadmoney.com. The reason why is because we're taking proactive measures against YouTube. Hey, how you doing? Hey, can you tell me something? You see any pigs lately? I haven't seen any pigs. I think there's some here, though. It smells like it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yep, I'm talking to you. You see any pigs? Oh, thank you. So there's three of them right over there. What are you doing, little girl? Okay. Right now, this looks like it would be a rattlesnake heaven, but we're at a place that has a ton of pigs, and the pigs usually eat snakes, so there ain't hardly any snakes here. And this is where the pigs will have their babies. They'll have a whole litter up in here hidden from predators, and there's cows all around here too. You can see them. Um, but I'm looking for a baby pig right now because I need a new pet. There's also a litter of puppies over there, so I think I'm going to have a baby pig and a puppy and raise them as siblings. What do you think? Would you allow your little girl to have a pig your year -old adult and a puppy? Daughter adult daughter, house. yeah. With her own house. I would. Well, now, how much do you love your children? Enough to let them have a pig and a puppy at the same time? <laughs> What do you think the outcome of this is going to be? Go ahead. Go ahead. What do you, you think? Me what I, think I mean, well, no, I'm asking everybody that everybody, watches the vlog. Everybody I mean, who watches the vlog, he, so we were leaving and I said, what's that kennel in the back of your truck for? He put it there on his own. He, he, you are enabling my pig one. Oh, I'm the enabler now. Yes. Okay. All right. We're looking for pigs. I All right, Maddie, go ahead. Okay. Don't fall. I won't. I may. And everybody will laugh. Okay. If we find a pig, we'll let y'all know. Thought we were gonna get some pigs. There they go. Those look a little bit too big, anyways. Look how. Oh, look at the cute little redhead. <laughs> what do you think of that? They're cute. It's a. It's a 50 BMG. Oh. Well, good morning. At least uh, I don't know what time you're watching this, but it's morning for me. Oh. Uh, I wound up right now. I am in hunting camp. And that guy, well, he left. He left. That guy that, uh, I'm going to go try to find him right now. Billy Reeves is his name. And uh, we are doing hog hunting. There's Billy right there. Billy, turn around and say hi. How's everybody doing? Anyway, what we're doing this morning, let me show you out here. This is a... Uh, so we're watching the sun come up and Johnny boy wherever Johnny is he is out there flying the drone and uh, anyway and what I'm doing right here is I'm inside the house here and I am working on stuff that needs to be worked on if you take a look over my shoulder see that spear right there Billy winds up uh, actually is a pretty good spearman He's got people come over here and spear pigs and everything else. But I'm working on my computer and transferring footage. And uh, when the camera goes on, Billy kind of leaves. Billy doesn't like to be around the camera. But, uh, you know, I think about it. I sit there and, and Billy and I, when I come over here, I love talking to Billy because, like, man, we are, we see things so much the same way. And so we get up in the morning, drink our coffee, uh, watch the sun come up get the computer work done like this so uh when this is all done we can go outside and we can have some fun so anyway uh morning time i don't know about you but for me the best time of my day i mean there's some people that are morning people some people that are nighttime people for me the best time of day is the early morning because this time is kind of time to reflect and be quiet and think about what you got to be thankful for well with this, this evening was a, a total bust there goes Billy right there. <laughs> Billy is taking my plate and doing something with it. He won't He won't leave me alone. He's always trying to help. Look at him. Always moving. Always doing something back there. Anyway, we're uh, 
I don't know where Maddie went, but what we're doing right now, we came in and ate supper, and then we're fixing to go out and take the thermal gear, and we're still chasing pigs. I can't get over it. I mean, imagine that. Anyway, the pigs wound up there. I guess they were on a holiday today.